So, another Labour government has brought in a university fee rise. The first government to introduce university fees was a Labour government in 1998. That was under Tony Blair and it was £1,000 a year. Now it's gone up from 9,250 to 9,535, which isn't much of a rise. Uh, of course, the Independent has put a more positive spin on it. Starmer increases university tuition fees for the first time in eight years. How, uh, whereas the Telegraph has Starmer accused of breaking promise after university tuition fees rise announced. I'm not going to be talking about that so much as the social problems that I think university fees have caused. I'm Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. To start with, £9,250 fees uh, up to 9535 It's not an awful lot of money when you're thinking about uh, the, the, the whole business. So I don't know why he's done it, because it's, it's going to bring in a little extra money, but not that much in the grand scheme of things. And he says he's done it because there are many universities who are, it says here, facing financial crisis, with 40% of English universities expecting to slump into a deficit this year. Well, they're going to slump into a deficit because they're not keeping up the standards. And when they're not keeping up the standards, uh, people from abroad aren't going to be uh, accessing the universities so much. And uh, that's market economics. But what's happened with, when you have university fees is something else. First of all, I want to say, for foreign students, there should be fees. But for British students, there shouldn't be. I was very annoyed. I was really upset, actually. Very annoyed is hardly the way to put it, when the Blair government brought in university fees. And for one particular reason that occurred to me and doesn't seem to have occurred to anyone else, and that is Asian families. OK, let's not be mealy mouthed about this. I'm talking about Pakistani families mostly. And it goes like this. If a family has, uh, you know, well, if a family has a budget and they can afford to send just one of their children to university, they're going to send the boys. I think this and at the time, I thought this means that fewer Asian girls will be able to go to university or will get to go to university. Obviously, some will. But many will just be told by the families, look, you know, uh, Hassan has priority here because he's the boy. Uh, you get a job in a shop. But what is one of the most important aspects of universities? They're places to open your mind. Even now, with all the problems that universities have, they are still places to learn about the wider world. They are places where uh, people can get different ideas, can see other people doing different things. And these girls who didn't go to university, they stay within their Pakistani uh, social milieu. And then they bring up children and they're the ones who give the children their ideas of, of what the rest of the world is like. We're seeing the results now with the increased radicalization of all Pakistanis across the board in this country. They are the children of mothers who didn't go to university. I'm not saying this is wholesale, but there are enough of them to swing the balance. Now, I could see that in 1998. And it's not really much of a surprise to me uh, when I uh, see what's going on now with the Pakistani community. So, uh, yeah, 
that's it. I don't think this... Uh, I think that uh, Starmer, he needs more money for universities. I don't think that extra couple of hundred pounds is going to have a, a tremendous difference on the number of students who enrol. It's not really a tremendous rise, you know, however much the the Telegraph likes to big it up. But the fact is there shouldn't be university fees at all. And for the reasons I've given. Universities could be a force for good in British society. They've turned into, well, leftist quagmires. And that could still be dealt with. But they are, they are certainly educating only a specific type of person. And, well, you know, I, I know a lot of people will might think I'm being fanciful with this conclusion I reach that the 1998 university fees have caused the problems with Pakistani, with people of Pakistani heritage in this country. But I do believe that. And I think it's something we should probably think of. If you want to change a society, you actually do have to change the women. Um, my father once uh, said to me, uh, what he, he said, when he was a young man, he thought that, you know, the man was the head of the family and he would guide everything and direct everything. And then he said, as he got older, he realized that the man is just the bull. The society is run by the cows. He, he told me that just before I got married. And that's why educating women is really important for a society. You can see what happens to societies where women aren't educated. And the Labour Party has turned our society into a society where a substantial proportion of a certain minority have not been educated properly. And I think we're seeing the results of that. OK, well, yeah, comments below. Till next time. You can help my channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. That's quite important. And by sharing if you're so inclined. Links to my other channels and to donation methods are in the description. But the best way you can help is simply by clicking like and notify. Thank you.